At the beginning of every month, I find time to align the date on the daily consumption record to the date on the calendar. This makes it a lot easier for me to know which day is which when I'm cross-checking my records later down the line. This is very important. Otherwise, I could become confused later on. Yes. Look, I, I will try my best. But I can't guarantee that I'll be home on time this evening. There are so many clients waiting already. Okay, I will try my best. Bye. My name is Sister Zainab. As a nurse in this high volume facility and a mother of young children, my life is very hectic. I recently received training in effective contraceptive logistics management systems. It takes a little extra time, but it helps me in the long run to stay more organized and be more efficient in providing services to my clients. I may not have the ideal storage space for my commodities, but that doesn't stop me from trying my best to maintain some order and do my count. I need to hurry though. There are so many clients waiting. Next client, please. <laughs> oh. Sister, thank you so much. I'll see you some other time. No problem, Madam Aisha. Till next time, eh? Yes. Greet the family. Sure. I had to take a little extra time to counsel my client about her selected FB method. Even though I'm now in a hurry, if I don't document her visit immediately, I know I will forget and I will have issues with reporting it later. It only takes a minute. Next client, please. But it's been a very long and hectic deal. We had so many clients. We've had to stay up till late as usual. Thankfully, I recorded each client's data in the register right after I saw them. This makes it easier for me now at the end of the day when I'm so tired and need to go home to my family. All I have to do is check the family planning register and quickly add everything up to fill the daily consumption record. It's important to count your commodities at the end of every day to ensure they match up with your records. It's always nice when I realize I've recorded my data well and everything adds up.
we have our RIRF deal. A few months ago, I would have been dreading it. You see, I'm not very good with math, and I used to find all these forms, especially the RIRF, confusing. Now, I've realized that the key is keeping up with record every day and counting commodities regularly. Otherwise, it can be very stressful trying to catch up, especially when it's now time to submit the RIRF. I use the calculator on my phone to help me with the calculations. But other than that, I use the information from the daily consumption record to fill in the various columns. I've realized that if my DCR is well kept and up to date, it's easier to fill in these forms. <laughs> and I will have fewer problems with Madam Coordinator. Good morning, Ma. Ah, Sister Zainab, good morning. I just wanted to commend you on your good work with your RIRF this month. Well done. Oh, thank you, Ma. Yes. A lot has changed in the last few months. I used to be one of those in trouble with the coordinator every two months for inaccurate data records and late submission of RIRF. Now she has come to commend me. And now, people ask for help with data. We see a lot of clients every day and our time is limited. But I found out that if I take a little time to fill out the forms, it makes it easier for me to complete my report and request for commodities. In our work, it's not nice when you have to tell someone who has come from far and waited to see you that you don't have their method of choice. It has taken a bit of effort and practice to understand all the forms, but now they have become part of my daily routine and I'm used to it. I am now more aware of how I'm using commodities and I can respond to loose talk and give the best quality service I'm capable of. I am so proud that since I've started keeping proper records, our clinic has not run out of stock for the past six months. Hmm. Not stocking out commodities means that my clients will always get their method of choice. Next clients, please. 